got a Union R7, and I'm just going to plug it in as normal. I'm going to plug it in, it comes up, says so connected, and that's all very well and good, that's what you'd expect it to do. But I'm just basically going to explain and talk about the anti theft locking mechanism on this R7. So, if I just show you that. Right, can we see that? Yes. Now that says unlocked. Okay, so unlocked. And when I power it off, plug it in, it's unlocked. So I can plug it in, and then the computer has no problem with it. Now, if I change it to how it would normally be running, factory reset completed. Okay, so factory reset and expert. Let's just change a few things so you can see what it's going to say. So you just bear with me a second. Right, we should be able to see that now. So you just bear with me. Right, there we go. Right. If I press the button, now it says locked. Okay, so this firmware is now locked. Power off. Plug it in. And so the computer bleeps, um, but it doesn't show up, it still says disconnected. Let's uh, read the version again, and now it's saying model not found. So, same R7. Plugged in. Well, I click the read version now. It takes a long time. It's trying to read it, but it can't read it. So the firmware is locked. So it can't be updated with the anti theft protection active. Um, but then, if I take the same detector, if I put the unlock settings in, right, so the unlock settings are now in. Take this detector and plug it back in. It shows up immediately. Yep, so that's how the anti theft protection works. So it's personalised on startup, but it's also locked on the R7 device.